Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Travis Augustine, better known as Crazy Native 3 and today we are playing a game that I saw one of my favorite YouTube celebrity play. It was by Nerd Cube and I just seen him play this a couple minutes ago and I wanted to play it. So you know what? I want to play this. Alright, here we go. So this is supposed to be what it's like to work in a call center. Okay, I never worked in a call center. I have a rough idea from people who told me what it's like to work in a call center, and I hear it's just miserable, but it can be fun if you know what you're doing. But I won't go into too much detail because I'll probably get in trouble for it. With that being said, I'm going to play this game. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see the first moron who calls. Okay, there's nothing coming up, so... Standard greeting? Hello, General Inquiries. My name is David. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah. Hi, I need to change my address. Okay, it's, it shouldn't be so fair. It's... Sure thing. Now, in order to change your address, I just need to ask some brief security questions. Can I start by getting your social insurance number, please? It's 111-22211. Thank you. Invalid. He's not who he is. Mm, I'm afraid that's not a valid social insurance number. Could you double check the number, please? Fine, let me get my wallet. One 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 two two two. It's one one one, one, one two 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 three three. Thank you. That's better. Let's see. Can I have your full name, Bill? I'm sorry. Is that your full name? Yes. First. I need last. your first and your last name. Well, why didn't you say so? My full name is Billy Swarth. That would have been some fucking common sense with you, now wouldn't it? If I ask you for your name, and I'm a complete stranger, stranger to you, I'm not going to know your whole information just from, Hey, it's Bill. It doesn't fucking look like that, you moron. God damn it. No, it's not close enough. I, I'm guessing with professional, in a professional way, I have to get the full detail. I'm sorry, that still doesn't match. Do you have a middle name or an initial? It's Billy J. Swarth. Jeez. Don't you fucking give me an attitude, you motherfucker. Alright, I got a picture of you. I got your street... I don't, I don't, I don't have the street address yet. Let me Can get I your have date your birth. date of birth, please? November 10th. What year? And what year was that? 1991. Oh, see. Thank you. Your address. Can I have the address that's currently on your file? 1137 East 25th oh, Avenue. Oh, no, that's not uh, right. What city and province is that? Alberta. What city in Alberta? Calgary. I'm sorry, that doesn't match the address that we currently have on file. Mm -hmm. Is that your new address? Yes, you said you wanted the current address. Okay, I'm actually looking for the address that we have on your file. It's probably your last address. Is it in Coquitlam? <sighs> okay, this is where, like... I know I probably shouldn't have watched the video first and how he did it there, but still, nevertheless, I gotta go with some of the information that I've gathered. I should have probably just, like, seen the game and try and play it. You know what? Even though he's, like, being somewhat polite, he's still an asshole because of the earlier comments. I don't like him. Well, these are security questions. I'm not supposed to disclose any information from your file. Fine, try 50 Birch. 50 Birch? Uh, I can't say close enough. Yes. I need the full mailing address. 50 Birch Street. What city and province is that? B.C. What city in B.C.? Coquitlam. Was there any apartment or box number? Box 7. Thank you. So, we just need to go through some additional security questions in order to change your address. What do you mean? I've given you my name, my address, my sin. I'm me, buddy. Yeah, but those are basic things anyone can get. But then again, not a lot of people know. Okay, uh, I'm going to stop right here and just explain something. Like, I don't know what it's like to work in call center, but I do know what it's like in a technology field type of job and this kind of stuff. And in a job, no matter what, you have to get the full information out of the person in order to do something with them. I mean, it, it's just really stressful. And I can really tell, already tell, like, the stories that I've heard are pretty much true right now because we get assholes like this. Like, I heard worse assholes before that they got calls from. They're just complete moron, hillbilly hick, 
just I'm just gonna say like basically like I don't know how to explain it. They're just morons. Uh, thank God he's not hillbilly hick, but with that malt there, that's debatable. Anyways, let's continue. I understand that, sir, but the law requires that we go through strict security questions to protect your account. Whatever. <laughs> oh, he whatevered me. Oh, I'm going to make that fat lip even fatter. I'm going to get rid of that horse bite. Overbite you have there, you... Mm. <laughs> Alright, chill out, Travis. It's, just, it's a game. It's just a game. It's just a game. No matter how much of the person is an asshole. Okay, let's start with two previous addresses. Other than the addresses you've already provided, can you tell me two prior addresses you've ever had on your account? 50 Birch. You already gave me that address. I'm looking for two prior addresses. 50 Birch is my prior address. Right, but we haven't changed the address yet. Can we do that? We can, once we get through security. Okay, so what do you need? Two prior addresses. Prior to 50 Birch? Yes, please. Well, I used to live in Saskatoon. Oh my fucking god, does he know? Like, he just told me his previous address. He thinks I'm gonna fucking ask him the prior address again after he just told me. And he's not getting the fact that earlier I asked him for the full address. He doesn't get, like, once he says, I lived in Saskatoon. That's not the full address. He's. Oh, God. I'm going to get a hernia from this. Uh, No, not a hernia. Aneurysm, probably. Uh, I need a drink of Pepsi. Okay, give me a break, Pepsi. When it comes to games, I get easily pissed off against stupid things. And I swear to God, this is one of those really stupid things. And I'm having almost a heart attack right now. Just wanting to wrangle his... Yeah, Pepsi time. <sighs> Pepsi. Sponsor me. Alright. And that sounds rude, so full address. I need a full mailing address. Uh, 12 Regina Road, Saskatoon. That doesn't match anything that I have on mm -hmm. file. Is that the only place you lived in Saskatoon? Yep. Mm-hmm. Did you get your mail there at your house? No, we had a box. Why? Well, I'm looking for your mailing address. Oh, okay. We had a P.O. box. And what was the address for that box? No idea. You don't remember? Nope. <sighs> I don't know what that's going to do, and I don't want to try it, so... I'll make another video where I try and be an asshole to this guy, so right now I'm trying to be careful. Any other addresses we would have? Nope. None other? Uh, keep in mind, we'd have every address you've ever given us, like your first address, maybe your parents' address. Well, I grew up in Vancouver. Would you have filed your first uh -huh. tax return while you were there? Uh -huh. Probably. Great. Do uh -huh. you remember the address? 750-something. <sighs> oh, so I need a full mailing address. Listen, do you remember the addresses of every place you've ever lived? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, actually. We obviously don't expect you to remember everything off the top of your head. We do need to go through strict security questions, though, to allow an address change. Well, I don't remember any of the other addresses. Can you ask me something else? Sure, let's see what else we can go through. How short is this guy's memory? I swear to God, like, he's wor he has a worse memory than Dory from... Wait, Dory? Dorothy? Whatever her frickin' fish name is there from Nemo. She he has a worse memory than her, I swear to God. Alright, let's just get through this game here. I'm running on nine minutes. Leading question, just ask. Should I lead in? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let go. My mother told me to pick the very best one, and you are it. Do you have a copy of your recent tax information? You mean, like, a copy of my taxes? Yeah. No, I threw that out. Why would you throw it out? You never throw your taxes. Never! Common sense! You realize you're supposed to keep documents like that for up to six years, right? No, I didn't know that. Why is that? In case we or any other agency asks to review it. Why would anyone do that? I'm honest, I pay my taxes. <sighs> you know what? I didn't even have a... The job I had was for co-op, so I know what real work is like. I learned about taxes. 
I don't even pay taxes right now because I don't have an actual job. And I know this already. He should know this, especially since he's paid taxes. I, I'm going to cry here in a minute. Pepsi. I swear to God, if I play this game too much, then I'm going to have type 2 diabetes from drinking too much Pepsi because that's the only thing that's calming me down right now. Okay, random review, back on topic. What was your net income last year? My what? Your net income. Is that how much I made? Yes, that is essentially your net income. I don't know. I think I made about 10000 last year. Okay, it's understandable if you didn't know what net income is. Okay, that's reasonable. If it just slips his mind, it happens all the time. So I'm fine with that. But it does not match. I'm sorry, that doesn't match our records. 15000 Now you're just guessing. 20000 is, is this some kind of game show? No, you don't just guess the number there. That makes you like more suspicious of not actually being the person. Another question. I'm, we're not going to get anywhere else with this. Sure. Details of last payment. Have you made any payments to us recently? I think so. How much did you pay and on what date? Uh, $50? Nope. And when did you make the payment? Sometime last month, I think. Nope. I'm sorry, that doesn't match anything that we have on your file. <laughs> All right, so how much did I pay then? I can't Sir, tell you, these you moron. Are security questions. So? You fucking moron. Oh my god. Security. Do you not understand the word security? Do you not listen to a single word I said earlier? Good god. Ugh. I'm, I'm having second thoughts about ever working in a call center. I swear to god, it's going to be a nightmare. Would you have a record of the payment, like a receipt or a bank statement? I don't keep those sorts of things. Not even an online statement? What do you mean? Oh. Do you do any of your banking online? Uh -huh. If you do, you could log into your bank account and check the transaction history. Oh. My mom handles that kind of stuff for me. Would your mother have anything that could help you? She's at work right now. Okay, well, we'll try another security question. Uh, this guy's useless. Could you tell me the name of any representatives on your file? What? Could you tell me the name of any representatives on file? Listen, I pay my taxes and I don't have to put up with this fucking shit. I want to speak Fuck to your you. manager now. Okay, sure. I just need to put you on hold while I see if my supervisor's available. Fuck you, you mullet mother fucking hick horse by that. Oh, is that an iPhone? Oh, you know he's a real prick if he has an iPhone. Oh no, I'm fired. Uh, shit. Ah, don't be sad, man. You're out of that fucking job now. Fuck that job. Fuck that guy who called there. Uh, fuck it all. Fuck it all! I need this Pepsi again. Okay, after just experiencing that and how fucking irritated I am right now, I'm probably never gonna work in a call center now, cause that was just mind-bogglingly stressful. I swear to God, I think I have to take up meditation lessons from a Buddhist pretty soon. Just from playing this game. Okay, when we come back here for the next video, I'm gonna be an asshole. I can't wait for that. That's going to be the fun one. All right, guys. Until next video. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. No, that's stealing Markiplier. Ooh, this is a cute song. Find myself. How relaxing. Okay, I'll go with it. Okay, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Stay beautiful. Love you all. Until next time. Adios.